Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Welcome back to my tutorial series. And today we're going to be looking at cold starting and we're going to be looking at the Cessna 208B Grand Caravan EX. The one we have right here in front of us. Uh, it's a very, very quick tutorial. It's literally just to get you guys how to turn on the engine from cold, uh, which I will be doing for all the aircraft. Uh, so let's get to it. Okay, so here we are. We're here in Donegal Airport, my favorite airport to start my tutorials in. Obviously, the one that's local to me. It's one of the handcrafted that came with the game. So here it is. Here is the Cessna Caravan. It's a nice little plane. It's probably one of the favorites to fly in the current state of the game. A lot of people are saying this is probably their favorite. Um, so I'm basically going to show you how to get the engine running. Now, it's quite simple. There's only a few little things that we have to do here. Uh, but there is a lot of stuff here, so people kind of get a little bit worried. We're going to talk about a little bit of everything. So the main panel we are going to be using is this one. Oh, I've just accidentally clicked something. Um, so this is mainly like your batteries, your powers, your starter motors, your avionics. Uh, so this is going to be the main pan panel that we are going to be using. Up here, got our lights, strobe, navigation, beacon, cabin, etc, etc. The, the seatbelt and smoking sign actually work in this plane. It is probably one of the better planes that we actually have. The anti-ice system. Uh, if if is required, uh, you can see all your navigation stuff here uh, for the autopilot stuff. I'm not going to talk about the autopilots in this tutorial. This is just literally a very quick uh, guide to the plane and get you up in the air. Okay, down here at the front quadrant, you have your trim. As you see, take off, nose down, nose up. Um, this one doesn't work, uh, which is fine. You have your throttle. Uh, your propeller is the blue one, so. You've got to keep an eye on that uh, and then you have your mixture of control if you're going to cut off obviously we're going to have that to high and then we have flaps okay and we got some aviolics trims if, if you were to require them air conditioning for the cabin you know we can put it on monitor it with all the other stuff um, cabin heats if you were to use them most of the stuff we're going to need it here will be up on the screen it's got air speed etc altimeters um, and that's basically it. The other switches that you're going to need to know about are the ones up here, which is uh, your fuel uh, cutoff. And then you've got the oxygen, but that is not actually working. Uh, so these, these are very important up here. Okay, to get this bird in the sky is very simple. We check park and brake. Park and brake is set, which is this little nozzle down here. Park and brake. So next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to flick on both fuel tanks. This is very important, you need both these fuel tanks switched on, otherwise this is not going to turn on. Uh, we can see the propeller at the front here. Okay, we're going to go down to our battery pack here, and we want to throw on the batteries. Uh, it's good, you can hear it all coming on, lovely. Uh, we can turn the alternator master switch on, which is on. Uh, we can set fuel to on, so that's going to now boost the fuel. Uh, we're going to put avionics 1 on, so avionics 1 should kick in. As you can see, it is now kicking in. Um, we're going to set start to on and ignition to on. Then followed by avionics 2. Now, we should start seeing the RPMs start rising. Here we go. This is what we're going to keep an eye on here now. Make sure all our oil pressures and stuff stay in the green. We can now turn the fuel boost off. So everything, the RPM is running nicely. Everything seems to be looking nice here. And that is basically it. It is very simple to get this plane going. And of course, at this point, you would probably want to set all your cabin lights, etc. on, your beacon light on, possibly your strobe light. Uh, so out your ATC, get ready for your pushback. And you're pretty much ready to go. Now, I will do a full flight tutorial with this very, very soon. But that is the basics, that's to get you up and running from a cold state. Um, so all you'd have to do now is obviously set your autopilots, taxi, if you're using ATC or whatever you're using, and off you go. So there we go, very very quick tutorial here on how to get the Cessna Caravan started from cold. I will be going through every plane that we have currently, so we will be doing that very very soon. Uh, if you are enjoying this content, please do subscribe down below to the channel, hit that bell icon for notification, I upload it every single day. Come join us on Discord, there's a nice group of us there now. Uh, if you need any other kind of hints and tips, there's a lot of people that can help you out as well as myself. And other than that, myself, thanks for watching, and I will see you at the next one. Bye for now.